Let's discuss a bit of data theory. A piece of data in EOS is always in two states, each with two options. First, a piece of data is either manual or it is stored. To convert something from manual to stored, you simply record it. There are tools to make data manual as well. Second, data is either absolute or it's referenced. Absolute data are hard numbers that don't point to any other location in the show file. But palettes and presets are reference data, meaning the data is stored in a bucket, not directly into the queue. The queue looks into the bucket every time it is called and replays that data. This means that if a particular reference is used in multiple places in a show, it can easily be changed globally. Let's say there is a couch that is in several scenes, and you make a focus palette for the couch and store it in several queues. When the director decides to move the couch, you can update the focus palette, thus changing all the queues in which it is stored, so you don't have to go into every queue and change it one by one. We have various tools at our disposal that will allow us to convert data from one type to another. Let's take a look. The first example we're going to do is taking absolute information and converting it to referenced information. So I'm going to go ahead and say snapshot2 to get myself set up for that. And I'm going to say go to Q28, enter. That'll take us there. And I'm going to say group 21, full, full. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my standard colors and my gel picker. And I just want to pick blue in my standard colors. That'll turn our bottom cycle lights to blue. So if we look at our channels over in live, I'm going to hit format to get us in the summary view. You can see in my psych values that the top psychs are stored and they're tracked. And my new values are manual. So I'm going to go ahead and store all of those. I want to grab group 22, which is my psych top and bottom. And I'm going to record color palette 21. And I'm going to label that split psych. Enter. And when I complete that, you'll notice that all of those values are now a manual referenced value. So if I go in blind to look at this color palette now, I'll pop in there and I'm going to hit format to get to table view. And if I look at color palette 21, you'll see that all of my channels, 301 through 362, have information stored for them in this color palette. Because we saved this data using the record command, all data for the specified channels was stored, whether that data was manual or already stored when we executed the record function. We can go the other way and convert a reference to absolute data. So I'm going to hit live, and I want to grab channel 101, looking at that in table view. What we can see in my focus category is that I have a reference. Those parameters are currently sitting in focus palette drums. So if I want to break those references, I'm going to go ahead and say 101 and 104, focus, and make absolute, which is a soft key. And as soon as I hit enter, that is going to break the link with that focus palette and just put the absolute values manually on stage. So let's look at select manual as a collection tool. If I use select manual, minus 101, record, preset, 11, enter. And if we go into blind and look at preset 11, If I look at 104, you'll notice that it stored all of the information for channel 104, even though just my pan and tilt was manual. And that's because select manual grabs an entire channel, even if only some of the parameters have manual values. Because we used record, all of the data from the selected channels was stored into the preset, no matter what state the data was in. Also, because my psych lights were manual at the time, my channels 301 through 362 were also stored into preset 11.